Hey y'all, I want to start off this video by stating something that I think is very important to my heart and is very important in general. Ever since like the past eight days, my initial plan was to take a slight break from YouTube and that was just because I got tired of, you know, constant. I was like on a three day consecutive posting streak and I kind of didn't want to break that, but I kind of got to the point where it was like, yeah, I was kind of like mentally exhausted because I kept like posting every single day and that's all that really was. But then I got unfortunate news that Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, had died. And when that happened, I just checked out for a couple of days. Um, yeah, well, a lot of days at this point. I think this is the last upload, which was how strong is Gumball Waterson really? It literally has been like eight to nine days since I last posted. Either way, I'm back now. And I want to first start this video by saying that Dragon Ball Z has always been a very important part of my life is kind of what got me into scaling and i'm pretty sure it's got millions of other scalers into scaling in the first place now i will say this if you want to skip this part you can um but you know this is just a part of the intro for this video i mean i should have probably just made a separate video in general but considering the fact that i didn't do that and since i did make a video on it already on my main channel i just didn't see that that was a good up point um Thank you guys who have been patient and waiting on me to upload again. It, I'm thank you very much for all your wait and all that. And um, yeah, so this was a request that I had gotten before I stopped uh, posting. The gumball video was something I recorded in the same day as the other video. And considering the fact that I have time in general to just record now, I'm probably about to record a bunch of videos right now and then just have them post over the week. So like if I get like a reaction request in the comment section, I'll respond. But it doesn't mean like that it'll be the next thing that comes out just mainly because I literally just have not like been able to see it at the time. Like they'll probably come out one after another. I plan on recording at least four to three videos in this setting right now. So yeah, so for like the next three to four days, y'all should have consistent uploads because I actually have the energy to record right now. And I think that's, you know, when you should just take advantage of it. I used to try to do this all the time. But due to the fact of me thinking that way, it just never happens. So we'll see if we actually have four videos like that are planned to come out when they're supposed to come out and whatnot. And uh, yeah, but uh, let's get into the actual content of the video and break in, and, you know, stop. But uh, yeah, one more time. We'll say this one more time. Rest in peace, Kira Toriyama. Thank you for all the things you've done. And yeah, let's get into the video now because I wouldn't even be doing this video if I had never seen Dragon Ball Z. So I just want to keep that in mind as I, you know press on with these videos so with that being said let's get into the actual topic of this video which is nicole waterson versus benson dunwoody now i gotta be completely honest with you i thought this battle was actually kind of interesting when i first got the request because it's just you know they're both two people that get extremely angry and get really powerful so yeah let's just see where this goes like right now if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure to hit the red subscribe button thanks and uh let's get into this video right now shall we so, I think I'm just going to do Benson first because, well, you know, regular show, I like it a lot. Benson Dunwitty is the trigonist of the Cartoon Network's regular show. He is a gumball machine in the park's manager. As a manager, he is the boss of every park worker. With the boss, with the possible exception of Pops. Um, yeah, with the possible exception of Pops. Um, wait, one second, y'all. One quick second. Uh, Benson is easily the most short-tempered character of all. Whenever he is greatly upset, Benson, Benson loses his temper, turning varying shades of red and always threatening to fire Mordecai and Ribby, usually by yelling. Although he can be sassy and sarcastic as well. Aside from this, Benson is usually calm and, in fact, enjoys being social, even with his two most disliked people. Whenever Benson is in a good mood, he rewards employees with time off, usually in the form of nightly entertainment for dining out. Now, that is Benson's summary real quick, so we just went over that real quick. And now we're going to just, you know... Benson, um, funny enough, doesn't really have that many things in terms of like, like things. I mean, he has berserk mode. He can use rage as a weapon, good at close combat, and can use death Kwon Do. Um, so yeah, he can do all that. That's the, it for his powers and abilities. Um, the reason I also kind of put that message at the very beginning of the video is because this actually won't take that long. So you know, I was just like, you know, then we can say his speed is uh, we wait, actually let me go back to attack potency. So his attack potency is planet level because stronger than Mordecai can punch through walls, destroy tables with a strike, and didn't steal, overpower dozens of guys before exhaustion with Death Kwon Do, comparable to Mordecai and Ribby with it too, and with built up anger, the energy extorted by his rage was threatening to tear the park apart. Tank they fall 
falling to earth, taking a fall while doing a Earth's re-entry re during a hole from Earth and even killing all life from the planet. Then with uh, his speed is FDL because he ranges of that of Death Kwon Do with Mordecai and Rigby. So with that being said, that's going to do it for Benson's section. Yeah, so we got planet level powers and his speed is FDL because he's comparable to that of Mordecai and Rigby when they use Death Kwon Do in certain instances. Now with that being said, we can now move on to the next person, which would be Nicole Watterson herself. Nicole Watterson is one of the main characters in the Amazing World Gumball. Nicole is the mother of the Watterson family. She is the only true responsible member of the family. She is very dedicated to her family and would do anything in her power to keep them comfortable and safe. Now, with moving forward with Nicole, there are a couple of different things we can mention for that uh, powers, such as immersion because she went inside a movie. We have mind manipulation and fear manipulation. I'm pretty sure you know Nicole, you know why. Energy manipulation, data manipulation. Uh, the family that the show is centered around Nicole is the breadwinner of the family, therefore she has strong influence over her show's state. Then we have even almost got it canceled when she was temporary bankrupt, which meant Gumball's whole world deteriorating, falling apart, glitching and deceasing in production quality until it was coming worse than the storyboard. And with that being said, that that's pretty much it for Nicole's uh, powers and abilities. Now moving forward to her attack potency, we can start her off at small town level because she fought Yuki Yoshida, who should be stronger than Masami, um, Masami capable of fighting Mr. Rex, who should logically be superior to Tina Rex, much stronger than her son Gumball Watterson, was one of the characters who defeated the console, which almost killed Gumball, Darwin, and Anais, produced a shockwave that covered the entire neighborhood with a mere snap of her fingers, potentially universal plus because limited environmental destruction nicole has the potential to get the amazing world of gumball canceled which would mean gumball's whole world deteriorating and falling apart on a metal fictional scale would be contextually more con uh, sensual than richard accidentally tearing apart the fabric of the universe so with nicole we have universal level plus in terms of power and when we look at her speed, we can say she's realistic to um, MMTL Plus because attack speed regularly keeps up with and outspeeds Gumball and Darwin on a regular basis, usually portrayed as far faster than her children. And Gumball was shown to move at these speeds. So for Nicole Watterson scaling, we have Universal Level Plus in terms of attack potency and Massively FDL in terms of speed. Now, with that being said, we can now get into the discussion section, so let's get into that right now. When looking at like both of the characters, I think it's pretty interesting of a battle to do in the first place. With that being said though, I think this battle has a couple of problems with it and let's just get into those right now. So for starters, Nicole Watterson clearly outscales Benson in pretty much every category. Although Benson did and does have FDL, Nicole can move at massively faster than like speeds. When we look at the power, sure Benson's planet level, but Nicole has the power advantage by far with potentially being universal level plus. Now, I wanna make this clear. I do agree with this scaling to some degree, but if you don't take this scaling into account, she would be small town level, which would give Benson the edge. Not that Benson didn't already have the edge somewhat in combat with Death Kwon Do to me, but honestly, this would just give him another edge to me. Now, if you wanna say that Benson Dunwoody probably did, would obviously not have the advantage because of the training that Nicole did to fight you know, uh, Yoshida, then that's one thing. But to be completely fair, I just don't think that's a fair bet. So I'm more willing to say that they're equals in that. But with Death Kwon Do, Benson would clearly have the advantage. But with Death Kwon Do, it would require prep time. But Benson scales to planet level feats of destruction, as I said before, by just scaling to that of Mordecai and Rigby without even having that. So to be completely honest with you, if you give him Death Kwon Do, Benson kind of just wins. If you take universal level plus scaling into account, I would give it to Nicole Watterson. Now, to be completely honest with you, if I had to give it to Nicole Watterson, I think it's very important to keep in mind that she is faster than Benson, whether or not you take in her attack potency or not. Now, if Benson is fighting face to face, his durability is equal to his attack potency. That's just how scaling works. So he would be equal to that of planet level regardless. Now, when you take that into account, I think it's fair to say that, yeah, okay, being faster in this situation wouldn't matter all that much because it's not that much. So. Honestly, I would have to say that Benson Dunwitty either wins by extreme difficulty reasonings or Nicole Watterson wins like low diff if you take in like universal level plus scaling. Now, me personally, I think it's about a 50 50 with that scaling. So, I mean, it's kind of up to your interpretation on that. But I think in like a timestamp, I think Benson Dunwitty definitely wins more times out of 10, especially with Death Kwon Do on his side um versus nicole's universal level scaling so yeah with that being said i'm gonna give this to ben dumb 
Vincent Dunwitty, because I think he went 70% of the time more than Nicole, unless you take in the universal level scaling, which I don't think is very consistent, but it is kind of consistent. And yeah, so that's that's that. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button to be informed about new videos whenever you upload them. Benson wins with extreme high diff or just Nicole wins low diff, but I'm going to give it to Benson and my personal thoughts on this. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll never be a say enough. I'll never be a say enough. Thank you, and I'm out. Okay, have a nice day, y'all.